not to listen to either one of them. So once you get a bit of a picture going, the pedal in control, and you can start saying, well, this is what I want him to go that way, you can then put command on it, and you can get it to happen regularly. But if you go that, and they try to go around you, and they, they beat you, they're just learning that they can go either way on their command. So it's all about showing them before we're telling them. Too often in world, we all want to tell them what's going on. But to think they're human. We want to show them for a while. Let them learn to cope and show what they need to know, and then we can tell them. We are main when we need that call, and we can get that stop pretty quick. It's blocking them like that, it's a command. We're just saying when we want you to, we can stop you. And that's pretty important for later, because so we can get dogs wider, get dogs to have more space, and get back into their world by getting in that position, and let them learn that they can cope with that position. When they start beating you around and beating around, you can't get there. You're not quick enough. But you've taught them this, that you go boom, boom, grab on it, that could be like that, and I'll stop. And then you can say stop. Because they say, hey, my mind's come back down to that point, I know what you want. If I say stop, 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 do you want the right car? Do you want me in here or are you going to do it? Good on you, I'll get out. I'll just have enough to say. Just be careful in this yard, it is a little bit slippery. I'm glad to see everyone's more pretty good football. Let him off now, can I? Oh, you're just going to drop it.
bit of how he's coping. Probably telling you he's had enough. But what he's doing, that dog, is when he's going past, he's